solar eclipse happening on April the 8th. This solar eclipse is unlike no other. This is the new moon solar eclipse happening in the sign of Aries. It's really ruling your career, your passion, your self-identity, your authenticity, and your impact in life. What is it that you're here to do? Your sole purpose, everything is being ignited. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the ways on how this personally affects you and how you can utilize the energy of this solar eclipse in ways that you can even imagine in terms of career, finances, your goals in life, your directions, and your destiny path. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Welcome back, my love. This is Tina Wong. So if you're new around here, we post videos on spirituality, understanding the self, and how you can step into your truest and highest self-expression. So if you're into anything of that sort, be sure you hit the subscribe button and the like to this video so you know I can make more for you. April the 8th. The solar eclipse happening in the sign of Aries. This solar eclipse is here to remind you of who the F you are. This solar eclipse is here to remind you of what has been working for you thus far and what is no longer working for you. The solar eclipse here is kind of like a big bold statement, you know, thinking about the sun, right, being your outward expression in life but with the new moon solar eclipse there's a moment where you can't really see the sun you know it, it's being covered with this dark shadow so what does that mean what does that imply and how can you understand it on a spiritual level well what this really means is that everything you know the darkness the shadows the things that have been preventing you, obscuring your path, distracting you from shining like the freaking sun, freaking ray of light that you are is going to come to the surface. So around this time, you're going to be really clear about what isn't you, you know? So we're talking about your career path, right? What is it that you really like to do? What is it that you're passionate about? Or what is it that you're just like doing it for the money, baby? But then you're just like, well, that gets old quick. Mm -hmm. And around this time, your sole purpose is going to be really highlighted. I made a separate video on this about the five major portals in April, so make sure you watch it. I'll link the link down below. Understanding how this solar eclipse is activating your destiny path and how you're meant to shine in this life and how you're meant to impact others is going to really... Um, encourage you into pursuing that path even more so what does that mean around this time many of you let me know if you feel this by the way in the comments below around this time you're going to be questioning about what am i here to do what is my greater purpose in life what is truly truly of service to humanity that i'm here to do and the thing is you've known this for a really long time but maybe you're just like but that's too hard you know maybe you're you're like i wanted to create content i wanted to make, make videos i wanted to write books i want to i don't know whatever do podcasts and then you're just like oh but i'm not a tech person but i'm not i'm, I'm not like that girl i'm not like that guy who keeps on making these videos and so good with the, the editing and whatnot you know so maybe you've been not doing it because of some excuse or some reasons that you made up thinking that you, it has to be done a certain way pay attention to what i'm about to say it's going to change your life solar eclipse this one is going to remind you of what makes you unique what makes you special meaning that you no longer have to do it their way or anybody else's way so if you're meant to speak or write or impact or heal or host retreats or whatever it is that you're meant to do you're meant to do it your way Okay, and I've trained and worked with and coached and mentored thousands of leaders around the world on how to really step into the true authentic nature, you know, from screwing the makeup, screwing the whatever clothes, professional tie that you need to wear. You know what? A lot of us, we say F the nine to five because we don't want to follow those rules, you know, especially the people who follow me. They're a little bit of an underground rebel. And what I say, underground is that you know we might look like good girls and good boys but inside we say f the rules okay so be reminded that aries this energy is in um is in your center of kind of like initiation you know it's like you the, you are the initiator you are the leader you are the path paver right you are the leg the flag 
waiver. I don't know, you, you know, like the leader. That's the, the campaigner. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here. So this is the energy where you have to allow yourself to re be reminded of where you're meant to be. Are you here to lead? Are you here to guide? Are you here to make massive impact? Right, and if you are, there's good news because this solar eclipse is going to be activating a new wave of leaders around this world. And I'm not just talking about any leaders. I'm talking about the new Earth leaders. The people are here who are here to make real changes on this Earth, creating the changes for generations to come. The changes that is going to really help humanity uplift and expand the consciousness of our planet. So uh, around this time, if you're feeling the calling to speak to write to be loud to be expressive highly recommend that you give into that because that's the exact energy that you know that you're here to do there's no there's no pretending anymore that's what i'm feeling for you another way where this solar uh, uh, eclipse really affects you is also in your way forward in terms of there's going to be some really clear decisions that you know that you are making or about to make or gonna have to make already made okay so there's something about that be reminded that we are currently still in the Mercury retrograde meaning that you know not an ideal time to make any major decisions however some decision does get to be made whether you want to or not you know some of you guys can be leaving a job some of you guys can be um, letting go of somebody from your company because it's no longer a match I had to personally let go of someone yesterday <laughs> literally so you know there's something like that that is happening right now where uh, the true match okay is going to show itself and the um, I would say the false match, but it, it, the no longer, the no longer matching is going to make its way out. Whether you like it or not, whether you're consciously making that decision or not. So that's exactly the energy that I'm hearing for you. So, you know, take this time to think about where you're working, where you're, how you're earning money, how you're making a living and what truly matters for you. You know, a lot of people, a lot of us who p place a lot of emphasis on money making, Okay, and sometimes when we say, oh, I don't care about that, but it's like in, in the back of our head, we actually do. It's like, oh, I cannot do that because I have to work. I cannot do that because I have to do this. I, I cannot do that because it costs too much money. Just think about that. The energy of money and finances is going to be coming very apparent around this time because even though we're in airy season right now, we're also moving into Taurus uh, really soon. So moving into that financial sector, you're going to be more aware of like, am I trading my soul, my passion? my destiny pack for a dollar bill you know to make money to uh, get promoted in some job that seems cool on paper but my soul is not really liberated and free and happy right so this is going to be the time where you are being reminded of what truly matters your foundations your values and your values as your foundation i made some clips on my Instagram at Tina1000. If you don't have me, highly recommend because I go live, I post a lot there, and my stories are super lit. So make sure you catch me on my story on my Instagram. The energy of the solar eclipse in Aries is also here to help you heal the parts of you that feel like it's too hard for you to stand out or like it's too uncomfortable for you to be seen for you for your authentic nature this energy is like a boom boom pow energy where it's like hey world this is who the f i am take it or freaking leave it so a lot of you guys can be feeling a little bit sassy a little bit bold a little bit adventurous a little bit outspoken remember aries is ruled by the planet Mars, so the planet of action, the, the planet of like, well, that just freaking goes. A lot of, a lot of that, you know, a lot of that passionate type of energy. So don't, don't, don't be surprised that you're gonna make some major move around this day, a major claim, a major declaration, you know, and um, a major decision in your life, whether you consciously want to or not. It's just kind of natural. I'm hearing at this point, a lot of things are gonna be revealed to you also in terms of. Um, your true identity and how you like to express yourself in the world. So maybe you think of yourself and you tell yourself that you're some kind of like introvert, shy, you know, a hermit kind of person. And maybe the only reason why you're saying that because you're afraid to connect 
because that's what you want the most because you've been rejected before. You're, maybe you're not confident that there are people who understand you and you're afraid to be vulnerable. So this is going to be a period where you're being asked to go deeper and understanding actually is it really who I am or because I'm making up some story to prevent me from being the true authentic version of me. That's deep. Okay? And if you need support on it, definitely hit me up on my Instagram, slide in my DM. I'm opening a few spots right now for one-on-one -on -one coaching, direct with me for three months, which is a very rare opportunity. I don't open this very often. So if you feel the call and if you feel like the, the ping, definitely hit me up. I love to chat with you and I love to chat on how I can support you. When you are moving into all of this identity uh, activation what ultimately is gonna be solidified is your sense of true authentic self and when you find this what you're gonna experience is that this unshakableness this strong foundational energy that is going to help you go through the rest of the year with ease because everything that you know even when you buy you 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 build a house or build a building the foundation is what's important and right now you're laying the foundations this um, April 8th energy is basically laying a strong foundation about the home that is you, the person that is you, that is moving forward. There's going to be a new chapter being unfolded, a new energy being unfolded, a new face in your life. So there's a lot of newness, there's a lot of beautiful energies being wrapped up, there's going to be this new gust of wind of renewal. So this is a very exciting, exciting and potent time. It's a very expansive time, but it can also be a, a semi-dark okay, time for those of you who are struggling dealing with your shadow. So if that's you, definitely check out my other videos. I will list it down below to kind of keep you sane because sometimes, you know, when we um, when we don't want to look at our shadows and during these eclipses, it all comes up. It can be a bit overwhelming for the body. So what to do? Meditate. I have all sorts of meditations here for you. You know, definitely uh, get support, you know, wh wherever, whoever you're drawn to and whatever works for you. You know, I always recommend grounding. Right? I always recommend being close to nature or, or being in an energy where you feel safe and at home and kind of recognize that. Start to recognize where your energy feels at peace and where you feel like you're a little bit like this, right? So just kind of tune into that. And again, if you need support, head over to my Instagram or browse my YouTube video. There's lots of resources for you. The main thing that I want you to take away from this video and understanding this eclipse energy is that everything is meant to unfold as it should. Okay? Everything is meant to unfold as you are ready for it. So allowing yourself to ask this the question of what am I ready for? Okay, I'd love for you to answer it down below or just journal it in your, in your journal. What am I ready for? You know, what is this chapter in my life about? You get to be the creator because you are the creator. You get to choose, you get to decide. So are you going to be in power and saying, you know what, this is exactly what is going to happen. This is exactly what this time is for. It's a self-activation, it's a self-reclamation. It's me following my divine destiny path for me to impact thousands and millions of people because I know that's what I'm here to do. Do you feel that? Okay, I'll be making a special meditation for this eclipse so you can check it down below also. I love you, I love you, I love you. Hit the subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you soon.